I spoke to the mother and daughter who describe how this box of Legos can help spread awareness of the disease and hopefully find a cure. 21-year-old Jasmine Jackson Winston is a senior studying at Ohio State University. She was born with sickle cell disease. When I'm having a lot of pain, it's really hard for me to focus, really hard for me to study. Sickle cell is inherited and mostly affects the black community. It causes pain, organ failure, and can lead to an early death. It isn't talked about enough. Um, we do need to know more about it, and we need to make sure that we support people who have it. I was trying to, you know, find a way to, you know, try to explain how the sickle cell pain, you know, felt like. And really it's unexplainable, but like the closest thing that I could come to is like, you know, when you randomly step on like a Lego and you're not, you know, thinking about it and it's like, oh crap, that kind of hurt. Jasmine describes the pain of sickle cell disease as walking on Legos with bare feet. And they're starting a TikTok challenge to spread just that. So Jasmine, why don't you show them how it feels when you step on Legos? So usually I do it barefoot. Um, I hope that it'll be really similar to like the ALS uh, ice bucket challenge where a lot of people, you know, start doing it and they start understanding and learning about sickle cell disease. Jasmine says sometimes hospital staff say she is faking her condition in order to receive prescribed painkillers. They have said, you know, you're probably a drug seeker and all this other stuff. But she says that is not the case. She hopes to use her knowledge and suffering to become a doctor one day. Sickle cell kind of gave me a purpose. It made me want to be a hematologist oncologist. Secondly, I feel like sickle cell made me stronger as a person. I can deal with a lot more pain than a lot of people can. To help spread awareness, just head to TikTok, walk on Legos, and use the hashtag Sickle Cell Awareness Month. We hope to spread more awareness and hopefully find a cure to this deadly disease. It definitely hurts a lot, but it's worth it. I'm Ariana Cohen for News 8.